This podcast contains adults using adult language. You have been warned. Alrighty. Yay. Hello. Becky waving flame flood wall arm at no. Oh. <laughs> There's a sale. Yeah. And what's on sale is Dungeons and Dragons. Uh so okay, so for uh folks who are coming back to us, um we they had discovered the team had discovered the location of this mysterious shadow archer. Um at the house of one Stenslin Tomasi, aka Mr. Tomato. And um, there is some debate as to how to proceed. And uh, the plan ultimately was to try to lure him out of the house uh, to uh, under the pretense of getting uh, of getting some kind of agreement going with uh, Acquisitions Incorporated. Um, but Corbin um, has some and been airing some grievances. And so uh, we're going to pick up with uh, Thunuk and Corbin. Um, do yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I, you uh, mm -hmm. normally like upon receiving a I would like to come to this meeting response. Mm -hmm. um, Hugon's just gonna like scribble a, a dear Mr. Tomasi. If we appreciate your willingness to come meet us, etc., etc., etc. We look forward to being uh, available at the Silver Harrier at the agreed upon time, etc. And confirm the RSVP. Yeah, okay. Away it goes, and then. Back upstairs. And the <laughs> sad thing of the whole fucking thing is, if I didn't have to work with you, I'd probably love hanging out with you. Dren's bubbly and 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 her smile's infectious and that fucking giggle. And and Hugon, you couldn't ask for a more loyal friend. And you, you're. Just really nice. Thank you. But the problem is working with you. Sometimes we get what we need when we need it, and we don't know what it is until it's done. But we can't be in a situation where it's three people babysitting a gnome. Which is what it's turned into tonight. Now, yes, I understand that her friend is in trouble. Right? I kind of want to see that movie, though. Yeah, Three Men and a Gnome. <laughs> I think I heard Tom Selleck was great. <laughs> Steve Guttenberg, I can pass on, but Tom Selleck, that oh. fucking mustache. Um, <laughs> I, I, I... I don't know. And even when she's told no, even when it's like, look, that won't work, that's a bad idea, she still is like fire. It or seems... shiny things. Tell me. Tell me exactly, right, if you will. I'll try. Tell, tell me what we found in the mean lock cave. Mean locks, bunch of dead stuff, some things the dead people used to have. Sunny day. But, but, but what are they? <sighs> you, you can't. Because Dren saw well, it and immediately stuck it all in her fucking bag. There's no but, there's no communication, there's no there's no attempt to at... is that and not as it the is, job? I'm so fucking angry at Omen. I don't give a shit about this. And he holds up the fucking wristband thing. He goes, I don't care he sent a fucking message. The message confirms what we already fucking knew. That he knew lives were a fucking danger. And he sent a bunch of people that don't know how to work together. Including me, by the way. I don't think I'm blameless in all of this. I am literally an asshole. I, 
I would call you impatient, not an asshole. Okay. Have? Have what? <laughs> there are dead bodies that are here because of AI. Or there are fewer dead bodies because of us. But there are dead bodies. Omen could have tooled up with his friends, dropped in the wood, Nuked it from orbit and carried on, and no, no, the watch never would have got missing. None of that problem could have happened. And don't tell me you've never heard the stories about Waterdeep and the Mad Mage's place and the Tarask. I have heard of Tarasks. Plural? Yeah, that's that's what I plural shit. <laughs> well, and there's supposed to be one in every like world or realm or whatever, right? This is out of character, brother. I... <laughs> but, the, but the point is, he knowingly stayed away from a situation that he could have rocked up into and solved in a heartbeat, and now we're looking at four people. We're completely disingenuous. What? Well, that's not the right word. Um, for people who, I'll admit, let's call I am not a motley G crew. Okay. Right. For the people that are going to be punching way above the fucking weight class, because the magic that's imbued in that arrow is nothing like what we can handle. If you know anything about mage spells and and teleportation and how experienced <laughs> you've got to be able to do to be to do it, mm, no. Again, you lack of books because you say they get it, but this is just it's. F and we're being led on a fucking wild goose chase. I don't know that I feel... Well, maybe it is a little bit of a goose chase. All right. We're being led... Forget the goose chase thing. Don't. No, think, no, I can't. Don't think about chasing geese. I, 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 I get the phrase. I, I, I know that phrase. <laughs> Every time we turn the corner, there's seven more questions. Every single time. And this is apparently, according to this fucking thing, something Norman knows all about. So why us? Like. Sometimes. I don't you, get it. Maybe we're just the right pieces for the puzzle. Dren I don't know what. Dren like, would rather burn down the puzzle, or put it in a bag and never look at it again. I'd rather study the puzzle from afar and not know what it actually is. You would like to lecture the puzzle because it's made out of wood, and have a conversation with it. And Hugo would rather turn it into a fucking shredder. I think we're the puzzle. Also. Whoa, deep. Then where's the picture on the front of the box? <laughs> Hugo is again leaning against like the back of the door frame and like drinking like from a mug of beer. And again, <laughs> just I see. Waiting patiently. Again, I see. As people, you've all got great things about you. You really do. But I 
And I've seen some things. I've seen some people that would blow your head off, man. There was one lass I used to know. Whew. But... This isn't... There doesn't even I... seem to be an echo of trying when it comes to certain things. When people are... People's loved ones are put in danger, people get this isn't just angry. about... Dren. It's about this whole situation. About Omen sending us here. Do you not remember? I've been angry for about a day and a half now. Yes. This isn't direct. This isn't because of Dren. This isn't no, because understand. of you. This isn't because of Hugo. I just... I don't think... People can plan. They can plan and they can plan. But they can't tell you how much snow is going to fall and they can't tell you how hot it's going to be next year. They can guess. Right. But that's all they can do is guess. Right. Sometimes the guess... They... they plan for it as best as they can. Right. I'm, just, you know I'm not seeing the analogy. You might need to explain more. I'm a bit dim. Nobody can plan perfectly. And nobody knows everything. Ever. Okay. Well, I mean, there's a couple of gods. But, I mean... Okay. The people at the, at the main office are just people. They can't possibly have figured everything out ahead of time for. I'm not asking them to have sent this like a, 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 a magic sending message with a big neon arrow over a bloke's head going, he fucking did it. No, I wasn't expecting that. But you could have sent a team that was better equipped. We're not even a team. We could fix that. How? By working together. It takes a while to learn. I don't get it. Uh, well, I, 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 I'm more than willing to admit that, sure, I don't have any friends. And I'm more than willing to admit that sure not everybody knows everything but don't you think people should even try it doesn't feel to me like like omen sends us this message about Oh, if I move too fast, things might happen here, there, or in the... Bullshit. Bullshit. Innocent people were dying. Whose phone's going off? Was that mine? Sorry. No, it's me. Um, <laughs> I'm just making sure it isn't mine. Um, <laughs> innocent people were dying. And rather than send a team that were already together, that already knew each other, he decided to make the linchpin of the team I, I don't know. If Drem wants to, to sort this out, we'll follow her lead. But I'll do what the fuck ever at this point. I just... I'm done trying to give her advice that's going to keep her alive. Hugon taps uh, Thunok on the shoulder and like has the 
letter from Tomasi in his hand. Hey, um, I need to use the documency uh, supplies for something. Can can I come in? Yeah, yeah, man. Cool. Uh, Never. I know you guys are in the middle of something. Hey, 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 look. I'm sorry, but like, straw that broke the camel's back, man. Mm. Just with everything that happened yesterday with Bowman and the the mages and just I I can't fucking deal with being a pawn. No. Well, I mean. Well, yeah, but no. I'm used to being a pawn. I grew up fucking in a monastery, man. I've just <laughs> seen what happens when... I don't know. I mean, uh, we can discuss it later. I don't want to get into a philosophical argument with somebody who studied philosophy. Because I, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> what do you need? I just need to... Uh, make sure that the proper forms for uh, subterfuge and espionage are taken care of because we've got Tomasi coming in the morning uh, mainly so that I can talk to him but so that we can eliminate him as a potential suspect and then move forward. He's coming here or we're going there? Yeah, he's coming here. Home turf. Okay. okay. What's Duren think? Um, it's Definitely going to be uh, an opportunity to build a rapport with him so that we can maybe convince him to work with us on the matter once we eliminate him as a suspect. Um, if you're leaving again, the plan changes a little bit. Uh, not something that we can't probably uh, well I don't know um, I was kind of I'll take care of the forms okay but I'll have to have you both excuse me for a moment okay and he pushes between them and heads for the door and he heads towards the end shop uh, okay Dungeon Master. Yes. Would, as a member of Acquisitions Incorporated, mm -hmm. is there like an emergency, like our Documancer is incapacitated contingency with the Documancer bag? Oh, like a break if an emergency. Yeah. Yeah, there there's there's always like a, a packet in there that's like got like a um it's like a packet of papers with like a paper ribbon around it. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's like the boilerplate um yeah, emergency papers for the basic stuff. Like if you need to report a, you know, there's the the documenter has died form, which is, you know, and, and these are all basically right. the and these would all be like the simplified versions of the forms, right? Like a form, like a, uh, a fill in the blank kind of. Yeah, form. it's almost like a, like very a, like a, simple, like a form wizard. Yeah. Okay. You know, where, where you fill yeah. in the parts that you, it it makes it. You know, you need to fill in names here, 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 and here, and 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 it kind of guides you through. So yeah, there there would be um, some uh, there there would be some forms in there that for for the layperson. To, Please tell me uh, it's a magical paperclip that appears on the <laughs> <laughs> No, it's Inky the Sigil. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Can someone save me from this hellscape? <laughs> really, I'm stuck in Sigil right now. I can't get out. My torment is to be on this paper. <laughs> um, that, that's fine. Someone will just randomly summon a portal after weeks of work. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there's a, yeah, there would be like little magical prompts on there. Okay. Um, and no way to turn it off. Yeah, that's fine. I don't ever. I'm not sure I care. Even if that. you have dismissed it, it comes back. 
Right. I am, Hugon, rather, just sort of reading the, the scenario before him, I think would preemptively acquire that packet. Mm -hmm. Not with the expectation of using it immediately, mm -hmm. more along the lines of like, uh, we're probably going to be down to the documenter, <laughs> just based on what he's understanding. Um, and just sort of hang on to that. Um, and then he'll boop the, the comm bracer and mm -hmm. be like, hey, how do I, Dren, can you hear me? Am I doing this right? Roll for... <laughs> has, she taken it, has she taken it apart yet? Death roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Well, I haven't touched his. I didn't say I haven't touched mine. Okay. <laughs> uh, is yours still in one piece? That is a good mm. question. We've been pretty busy up to this point, and I went back to my shop mainly so I can go fuck around with my shield more. Okay, so so you probably didn't take it apart yet. I I just want to, yeah yeah. <laughs> but the it's word yet, it's like yet. in it's in the the vice and like the the holder like just waiting. Yeah, there it's is gonna happen. There is a continuum. If you can imagine a line chart, where on there's like every object that has ever been introduced or will be introduced in this game and a timeline and that timeline eventually and if we're measuring has Dren taken it apart yet that line always hits zero at some point in to say that everything in this game will eventually be taken apart most likely <laughs> most even likely people. even people oh even at some point she might try to disassemble Thunuk. Uh, not all of them not disassemble Thunuk. <laughs> parts just parts. <laughs> but anyway, like Hugon's like hitting it multiple times, so like every couple of words, it's like cut out. It's like because he can't figure because he's not <laughs> getting a response. And he's Letting it go. Is this the? I, I can't. Well, trying to, a, you have to appreciate I, that Hugon is like completely mundane. <laughs> he doesn't work with arcane stuff. He knows like like war mages exist and has served alongside them. He understands that clerics exist and has served us alongside them. But like what they do is so far removed from his world that it may <laughs> as well just be alien. Yeah. So like um you gave the man the first magical device that he's ever owned. Ever. And mm -hmm. it's not even his, it's company property. <laughs> <laughs> And the explanation that he got was you hit this button to talk. Mm -hmm. And that was it. So DM, is this a hold down kind of thing or can you just push it once to talk? Yeah, it's like a walkie talkie. So you have to hold it to talk. So basically mm -hmm. I'm getting broken messages here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if you're hearing that, it, it, I, it's, but yeah. And so, so picture in Dren is, like annoyed at having to wait because she's very much an immediate type person mm -hmm. so she's very viciously probably working at her workshop on just absolutely nothing it's just do this fuck that do this shit fuck shit. so she's probably a little annoyed mm -hmm. and then like over in whatever corner of the table is like hey but and the static coming through and it's holds down what <laughs> <laughs> it's like duh <laughs> shit and it's all over modulated <laughs> it, it it red lines so there's I, I a kind, bit of static i kind of think that i have this image of whenever hugon uses the button it auto tunes him like t-pain <laughs> Because it's not that I'm pressing the button, I'm twisting it a little yeah. on accident. Yeah. It's like, oh shit, that's what that does. Uh, <laughs> free voice modulation software. Um, <laughs> it's like, so you hold it down? Or... Right here. But, but no, but then it's like, he gets the part of holding it down, but he forgets to let go of it so that other people can talk. It's <laughs> It's just an open line, and then you like you hear like after a few seconds, like, how the fuck does this thing work? <laughs> and I hear all of this, so I'm like waiting to basically hear the click. 
It's the conversation that everyone, every person who has ever used a walkie-talkie has had with somebody else at some yeah, point. And so, like, eventually he takes the button off to do something else. Probably Thank drink. Thank you for releasing the <laughs> button. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So he's like, hold wiping. it when you want to talk. Click. Okay. And then let go. And then click. And did that work? Let... Click. Yes, it works. <laughs> Fantastic. This is pretty neat. Click. <laughs> you hear the click and then the unclick, and that was it. <laughs> Given that her shop is only just across the street, <laughs> have I made it's it like to the door by this point? Your husband from the same house in like just another room. Yeah. Like by the time he's figured out how to talk and is probably warning her I'm on the way, I'm already knocking the door. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like right as that you get the message from uh so um Bruce Willis is coming over to see you. Well, no, it was more like, <laughs> it was more along the lines of like Hey, we have the meeting with Tomasi tomorrow. Um, we'll keep you posted if you don't want to be in the building. Click. Click. I already heard Rosie's there. He's relaying everything to me. <laughs> Click. How does he do that? Do you really want the answer or no? Is this conversation out loud or is this in the in, in the <laughs> brain? Out, like, he, yeah, is that true? Is it like a speaker com or is this in our head? Well, Hugon would, irrespective of its truth, Hugon would talk at the bracer <laughs> because that's what worked the first time, and like no one has explained to him that this is a mental tool. No, it's not a mental tool. It's actually coming through on the on okay, the bracer. Okay, so it actually yeah. isn't. Yeah. FYI. So we can't use this for that. private conversations. Yeah, definitely so don't have private conversations. So it's absolutely completely different from the way that you intended it to be used. No, I bet we could whisper. No, because during table talk last week, you said it was going to be like the the the. No, I just like it. They could have conversations. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing's going to go absolutely wrong with Dren being able to have an open line to every party member during secret conversations. <laughs> Yeah, that I mean, you, me you gave it. essentially a, fa a mid medieval senior citizen a a cell phone. Yes. Yeah. So like, <laughs> probably not a good idea if, for Hugon. Because Hugon people... needs like what? What's that? What's the bug telephone for? Jitterbug. <laughs> jitterbug. Yeah, the jitterbug. He needs like the jitterbug version of the glove. And, yeah. Anyway. And a clap on for his lantern. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Clap on shield. <laughs> well, he has that. Yeah, I'm glad that Rozzy, uh, I guess, apparently can talk to you like I can now. Um, so we've got that meeting at nine in the morning tomorrow. Uh, are you going to want to be in the building for that or no? Like upstairs or how do you want to play that? I can hear everything from here. I am literally... Well, for me, it's a long walk. I'm right across the street. Hey, well, that's so fine. If, I'm asking any, just so... If so anything I happens, I can just, you know, like laser through the window or something. But I'll have Rosie there. I'll listen I think in. they'd appreciate it. I don't that. like Mr. Tomato. Well, okay. If he doesn't like me, so... Thunix whispering everything to Hugon, basically like, I don't think I don't think they'd like lasering in the window. It's and so you like you could occasionally hear his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear it in the background. I mean, and like Hugon's like, you have one of these too. It doesn't harm the windows, Thunix. Oh, it's not how lasers. Oh, uh, Corbin's on his way. He seems defeated and pissed. Click. Join the club. Click. <laughs> He doesn't like scones. <laughs> Click. <laughs> it's already like across the table, and I like. Thunuk feels like everyone is saying stuff. He has to say stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, tell him he owes Thunuk an apology. Click. It's already across the room. For what? He, he should not have called you an idiot. But I am. Okay. <laughs> And that's coming over the walkie-talkies. <laughs> it's all in the room. I've, I've it, like, I probably have some mechanical thing where I can open the door without actually having to go to it. Yeah. It's never locked because it's a 
it's it's still probably like so you hit it like a floor switch like a guitar pedal yeah, like a, a clockwork or something <laughs> just click and you know amazing there's like all these gears that were and there's some like steam yeah. releases it's the steampunk door opener and it just and corbin walks in here's okay. this shit about fucking scones and just like, <laughs> like, like something click, from click, the corners being click, said click, click, click. yeah yeah, lots right, of I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. That was very enjoyable. <laughs> I enjoyed that. <laughs> you need to break the tension somehow. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, like again, like it, it seems perfectly in character for him to not know what the fuck oh, no, is I'm, going. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, knocking it. I'm not knocking it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah, visions of my mother-in-law here. trying to figure out. Fa- I have mi- mi- visions of my mother-in-law trying to figure out Facebook and the different. And- <laughs> I unfriend you. That's not how it works. <laughs> Yeah, and then there's like for the random person, it's like Dren's almost 400 years old, but she's mm. like, "This is so last year." It just throw <laughs> corner. Yeah. I'll fix it later. It's old tech guy. <laughs> so Corbin kind of just stands in the doorway, Get yelling about stones and idiots or scones. Uh. She's probably even more agitated after that conversation. She might be pacing at this point. You might not see that because the sh- <laughs> she's probably under a table. <laughs> she's probably like the workshop is probably like a normal person's type, you know, like tabletop area up front mm-hmm. there. But she's short, so you might just see like the top, top of, of her, her head. head. Like, I envision there's like ramps built like behind it, so that way you could walk from end to end if you needed to, <laughs> but. But, yeah, it's <laughs> no, it's just it's pacing. Like I, I'm at that point where I want to be doing something and I have lots of projects to do stuff and I'm annoyed at the situation and I want to go figure this person out. And the fucking calm coming across. Like I already know because Rosie's telling me and she pulls out her earpiece and throws it. <laughs> <laughs> Thinks better about it, puts it back in. This is awkward. Come around the side. What's awkward? He, or was that like he just like <laughs> was that out loud or not? <laughs> oh no, it's completely out loud. And he just okay. kind of he just kind of gestures, indicating everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I. Uh, yeah, most people say that about the shop, but I didn't mean the shop. Oh, I, I quite like the shop. Something to be said about finding order and chaos. That's so very you. I, uh, <clears throat> can I, can I, can I come in? Remotely, but I did open it. Yeah, but he still stood outside. Oh, okay. Well, she probably said that out loud, like, I opened the door. And she points up, and you'll probably just see, like, all kinds the of... The cogs, mechanisms. yeah. Yeah sense you know what i'm gonna leave it alone I'm gonna leave it alone <laughs> just don't mention it and he steps in closes the door behind him he's like look and he walks over to where she is and i'm guessing there are no stools or anything well i have my like my workshop one where you know because i'm small so i have to sit mm. up but uh, there might be, they just might not be upright like mm. elsewhere. Do any of them have an iteration of the whistling thing that the other one did? <laughs> I could roll and find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you're pacing, he just kind of stops you. Yes. And lifts, <laughs> and lifts you to sit on the bench. Okay. All right. So he's so he can look you in the eye. And he's like. <laughs>
and he's doing this. This is like false starts of what he's trying to say. He's like, yeah, no, I, yeah. And she's probably like, her mind's already going to something else. It's like, why the fuck am I sitting up here? Just, what, what she's already doing? started to think, what would it be like if I deconstructed Thunuk's hand? I wonder what the internal mechanisms look like. <laughs> Thunuk likes his hands as they are. There she's can, are she can make so... them better. There are so many things. That you. Do you understand timeline theory? Probably. Right. So, there is a timeline out there somewhere where different decisions were made. I never went to a monastery, never fell in love with a woman, never got betrayed, never ended up here. Mm hmm there's also there's also a timeline where you did set fire to that house mm -hmm. and every single house along with it burned down and all of the innocent people inside got hurt at which point you're no better than Omen and it wasn't don't going to be real fire. And don't say to me that you aren't upset at Omen, because I saw your look on your face when you were listening to that message that he sent us. I'm mad at him. I. And he t sort of swivels and jumps up to sit next to her on the bench and he's like and he pulls out the wristband thing and he's just sort of toying because he doesn't know how it works either at this point right? Mine's in a corner somewhere right? So he's just kind of pushing the buttons it's not, he's not pushing so... he's not pushing the healing one right? <laughs> so so they might be getting some like, they are like probably every getting, word or anything. They're probably getting <laughs> some of this right? And he's like, okay. I fully understand that I am not the easiest person to be around. I also understand. I can count on one hand the amount of people in a near 200 year life at this point that I've ever been able to call my friend. I don't want things happening to you or to Thunuk. Or to Hugo. But at the same time, when I give you advice, even if you don't actually listen to it, could you at least pretend? Kind of look over. She's going to put her hand on his shoulder. I've never in my whole life ever asked anyone to do something before. Tonight was the first. Take that what you will. 
in my almost 400 years. I've always gone with my gut instinct. And this is a first for me, working as a team. I get that. But you don't always have to like my ideas. <laughs> he, he, at this point, he kind of, he says, so, I need to tell you a story. It starts back home. I don't know where your home is. No, you don't need to know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Right after my mom died. And at this point, he goes, that's when my dad, and he turns and he puts the bracelet down. And he says, so we get to hear everything right up to the point where of like the cliffhanger part. You get, to hear, you get to hear up to. <laughs> that, it looks like somewhere like. That's where my dad, that's what you heard. That's And then he you hear him drop the bracelet. And he says, I went to the monastery for a reason. I went to the monastery to learn to defend myself. I learned to to hide my emotion. Because things got difficult after mum died. Very difficult after my mother died. And he reaches up and sort of starts doing this. And he says, No matter what I said, no matter what I did, Dad just. wouldn't listen. And between knowing what Omen's done here, endangering lives, and he reaches up, and he reaches up and sort of puts his hand under and You've seen him without his his jacket and everything on, and you've known. Yeah, him. I've I've known him for a while. And you, no, 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 Corbin. Oh, Corbin, yeah. And you would know he's like running his hands over some scars on his chest. And he well, says, yeah, I saw you chopping wood, right? And yeah. you didn't have a shirt on. No. Yeah, yeah. And he says, between Norman. being afraid that no one would listen even when I was trying to do the best for them I lost my shite I want to help you prove your friend innocent. Even though there's a whole other story there to be told. No matter how old the person that has them 
or how old they are. Some scars are fresh, you know. Everything about this situation is wrong. Everything about it is wrong. From the wood, to the spiders, to the four of us, to the man that can teleport us out of a building with a thought, to a pair of centaurs showing up, to a town on the other side of a forest that thinks druids shut down their logging and the druids not being doing it. Everything about this situation is wrong. And the only thing I've ever had may have been the only thing that kept me alive when I was a kid is my brain. And it doesn't see an end to this fucking maze. So I'm sorry I lost my shit then. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to apologise to Hugon. And I'm going to apologise to Thunak. She's really confused at this point. She has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> She's just kind of like... I may have said some things. Oh, okay. <laughs> A lot of things. I thought Rosie was relaying all that stuff to he her. Was, well, he was with Hugon. And you were, he didn't come to like the end, so I didn't get to hear, I told Rosie to stay with Hugon, so I didn't get to hear. That whole conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. I don't know. And I'm sure you three will gel as a team. Just fine. I just don't know if I can. I've not trusted... (laughs) Let me rephrase that. I've trusted maybe one person in the last hundred years. That was a mistake. She wants to ask. Okay, go ahead. Don't you think then... Do you think that that's going to happen again? If you trust. I currently have a 100% failure rate with my trust, so... You're a smart dwarf. Evidence You can't suggests. know that it's... Evidence may suggest, but from a small sample. I'm so glad you imagined sampling size. <laughs> Did you just assume my size? I'm, just I'm small. I'm trying to have a poignant fucking moment here. <laughs> hey, he started it. <laughs> she and she wants. She's going to bring up with Omen. Trust me, he's never claimed to be a saint. Well, maybe he has, but he's not. Oh, I can tell I'm, you from personal experience. I'm well aware of that. So if they led you into some knowledge, then no. But not being a scene is no excuse for endangering innocent people. We also don't know if they had anyone else to bring. This is why they needed more people. Well, We may be a ragtag group, but you were picked for a reason. You're smart. So are you. I also don't make good judgments, in case you didn't know. But what do I supply that the others don't? Good judgments. Hugon's a way better fighter than me. You're still... (laughs) It doesn't... The the brawn doesn't always... They have good qualities. We were put together for a reason. You have... 
plenty of qualities that the rest of us do not have. And as I said earlier, I've never asked someone to do something. And just so you know, it was not real fire. It was going to be fake fire. I just wanted to get them out of the house. You mean fake fire like every other time you set something on fire? Well, that's in my own shop. And, you know, I've got plenty and of the fire sprinkler type. And the Well, it was all outside. Wasn't going to spread. I can Houses handle those are fires. Outside. <laughs> These are close together. But as you've shown me, look, I have to pr make it not make it realistic, just not actual. Bickering about it is not gonna. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm talking to Bronwyn right now? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't know who Bronwyn is. The look on your face gives like, it's my sister. Okay. Bickering about this. Look, I came over here to apologize to you. Because I felt you were first in line. And I'm telling you that I think the three of you will make an excellent team. And she'll say, I can't stop you if you want to go. You'll have to fill out proper form, blah, 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 I, blah, blah, blah. I, I'm aware... I, have, I, I know the forms. <laughs> the, I'm not saying that I'm going. I'm saying I don't think I'm going to be able to gel with the three of you the way you'll be able to gel with each other. We don't necessarily need to gel, as That's it were. That's what a team is. <laughs> we need no. We need to get shit done. Tech, uh, the, as far as acquisitions incorporated is concerned. We need to accomplish the goals. I'm not talking but about AI. I know. I know. I know you're talking about us on a personal level, but... I think... You're drawing off of a very... Sh small history. And if you give them... Why do I feel like the portals from hell just opened there? Sorry, that was last <laughs> night's dinner. <laughs> I feel this like... is why he doesn't eat scones. <laughs> Got enough fiber in my diet already. <laughs> you can blame the food truck for that one. Oh, the food truck. Put it back in the food truck. Yeah. And he'll... Uh, wait, 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 when he just looks at you and he goes... He'll just look at you and he go... I'll look at you and he go... Drained by Jen Weaver. Can I buy you a donut? <gasps> Again with the anime sparkly eyes. <laughs> and like, like I picture now cross-legged on top of the bench with the hands in between the legs. Just I'll take that as a yes. What? Will you stop with the portals from hell? It, wait, every time you touch it, it really does sound like you're shooting the portal gun at something. Yeah. I know. <laughs> At which point he'll jump down, and if she's gonna minable to it, by yeah, her. she's already pointing like this is to Dex roll. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's a fail. That was an eight. So yeah, I want yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a fatal fall. It's uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll take her out for a donut, and the other two midnight play, donuts, and the other two can play off of whatever they want to play. They were listening in. They had to be listening into nothing. some of that. <laughs> I just imagine like Hugon and Thunuk, like two like middle school oh. girls, like sitting there, like, oh, what do you think he's gonna say next? What do you think? Thunuk is out. <laughs> I just imagine like 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 totally like totally like just like fangirling out over the conversation. Well, like, I think it's more like Thunuk is like Hugon is like listening to the like some of it like true. No, True. I feel like he, I feel like you gonna listen to it like this. Yeah, and like <laughs> so like is far too close, and so he's just like, <laughs> like a bear breathing. I'm like, you your have face. your own. This, this nose just keeps on coming in. <laughs> I'm like, and I point at it, like you own one of these. Use it. <laughs> Use your own. Get but but the snoot just keeps on coming in. <laughs> like no. <laughs> 
but it's so exciting. <laughs> But no, absolutely. Like Hugo is like listening, like like and like just drinking and like yeah. Mm. And then when you when you're not paying attention, like you have the drink there, and Rosie comes over and looks at the booze and, yeah, and takes a couple sips out like, of it. He and... takes like a, a a big iron hard finger goes ding, and I'm like mine. Okay. And he gives you as much as Rosie can. He gives you like these like sad puppy eyes. I'm like. <laughs> but like, th- listen, man, I've watched children starve to death. That's not going to work. No, but he, then he does the thing where he like looks at you, looks at the beer, looks at you, looks at the beer, looks at you. And then drinks the looks beer the anyway. Be- and, 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 then, and like, mm-mm, here mm-mm. comes the flick finger again. No, uh-huh. it's not so much like a cat where you know the cat's going to do it. It's more like the Labrador where he's willing you like <laughs> to, to have sippy. No, and it's like, it's like no, drinking like he, this. He is far more stubborn. If you at any point take it away from your mouth, that would be a D4, a four fire damage because he has fire. <laughs> it's up to he's, you he's if you want up. to be the beard or the beard. Well, Hugo doesn't really have much of a beard. Okay. But the hand gets a little bit. Just Jesus. The beard again. gets warm. The beard gets warm. <laughs> You can just hear little servos going off. You're like, you uh, go piss off. He's gonna do that thing. He'll fly if you want over a beer, to like go fucking buy one. <laughs> He's gonna go to like a nearby chair so and he, so... go into that gargoyle position where it's like hunched and staring down, very annoyed. Like I am not afraid of the tiny head. tiny construct. <laughs> no, but so I imagine that I imagine that after a certain period of time, though, when you go go buy yourself a beer, like just annoyed, right? Rosie, like. <laughs> And I fl- you hear him flutter down to the bar, and you hear yeah. him go, <coughs> and you hear like this, <laughs> coughs up a coin, <laughs> coughs no, coughs up the cog, and then, but then, but then, but then goes and gets like flutters back up with his own beer, and just, just and <laughs> well, he's like, but he's like, but he's giving you the stank giving, eye the entire the time. This, like, he is giving yeah. you the stank eye the entire and, time. Like, Hugo's like, and when you're not looking, all of a sudden it's a little. <laughs> Eat a dick, <laughs> tiny creature. And he starts looking at your crotch, then looks at you, looks at your crotch. Looks He's at made you, of metal. Looks so at I, your crotch. I fucking dare you. <laughs> She'll be building you for weeks. <laughs> Listen, you're not really alive, so like I won't feel bad killing oh, you. Oh, he perks at that. That is full pink glaring. You hear the furnace turn on. The furnace cycles on. <laughs> I give it. I give a non-zero amount of fucks. I guess. <laughs> any re- so you guys have any, any reaction to what you heard? Oh, I'm trying to, but this fucking He's dragon really. thing keeps pissing me <laughs> off. But Did during you- the course of, but this is obviously over the course of the entire thing. So yeah, and so it's like very distracting, and I'm like, listen, th- like this is more important than you will ever be. <laughs> He's probably, I'm pro, like, my earpiece is probably going off somewhere where I'm trying to eat a donut. <laughs> no, this is during the middle of that conversation, I think. Oh, so then I'm, I am, I'm ignoring the fuck out of Rosie, so I'm sure I'm going to hear all about it later. But you took your earpiece out, so you don't have to. No, I, no, I put it, I put it back in. I oh, just, okay. I thought better of it. I put it back in because I want to hear in case anything happens across the street. That's a good point. And like Hugo will like after you're like meeting if you have your calm on even if you don't he'll just announce him. it's like hey can you tell this like Rosy <laughs> thing to leave me the fuck alone click mine's in the corner of my shop yeah so like no one hears it but I've, no one hears I've it. got mine with me <laughs> and so like that oh you took yours with you <laughs> well one, of, one of, I've got yeah it would be. Yeah, he would have picked it up. Because you put it down on the bench. Yeah, but he would have picked it up on the way out. Okay. Yeah. So even (laughs) Sonic (laughs) size one? That was like an afterthought. Like, yeah, I don't Like a Sonic size one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when when, when, when he he hears it go, will you tell me this dragon thing, leave me the fuck alone? He's going to look at it and he's going to look at Dredd and he goes, What the fuck is that? I told Rosie to look after Hugo. No, what the fuck is talking? Why oh, the fuck can I hear? 
push the button. Oh, Hugo must be pushing the button. It must be uh, like if he's listening, he's probably like has it up against his face, so he's pushing the button. Like H- Hugon's pushing the button, you c- or he's trying to tell you something or anyone something. So if you want to push the button, you can talk back at him. They hear what the fuck we would. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Somebody hit this button. Yes, I heard. <laughs> Thank you. Click. I thought I had to put this thing fucking on and attune to it for it to fucking work. I think it has. I think you have to put it on to talk. But it's gonna work regard like if it's. But then res- I wasn't wearing it, so they wouldn't have heard the story. I thought no, you had no. It. So no, the way had, the mechanic playing with his hand. The way the oh, way okay. the mechanic works with the uh, with the talkie is that you don't have to be wearing it for the talkie part to work. In order for you to dismiss right, and summon, okay. that would be an okay, attuned okay. thing. And then for the for the. No, but in character, Corbin is yeah. saying. I thought I had to be fucking wearing it. <laughs> oh, I haven't had enough time to mess with it yet. You might be able to modify that. Like, can you modify it? Like, if we wear these, are they going to know where the fuck we are? Like, Big Brother and has... Shay. Yeah, I don't know if it has a tracking. I'm kind of concerned about that now. I feel like, well, donut? No, but we're... Tracking. no, no, we're, we're mid donut <laughs> at this point. Okay. <laughs> I get it. I mean, for, we're gonna go. We're gonna figure out this tracky bit because that won't be tracked. At which point, I'll kind of poke at the button because <laughs> I, I like it, it's really hard to push a button when you're not really wearing it. So it, mm-hmm. I'm gonna like squeeze it between thumb, like one thumb on un- the thumb under it and the two fingers on top, and just go. Mm-hmm. We're, we're out at the food truck. If you wanna join us. I'm buying apology food. Clatter, clatter, crash, crash. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, out the door. And there's a oh, thunic shaped yeah. hole in the wall. <laughs> there is a thunic shaped hole in the wall. And I can imagine <laughs> that's a mad scramble. I heard something about scones. Does that have any relevance to you? Maybe that he likes scones. <laughs> you could buy him a scone. Maybe they make thunic sized ones somewhere. Better, 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 better. It's like a giant. You know what you want to do if you need to apologize to Hugh God? I know this nice place over there. They got some. Re- they, she's got a really good butt on her. He just needs <laughs> bardic inspiration. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's weird. <laughs> All right, Dren, you may. I understand that you're, you're not the most socially <laughs> active person. No. But you don't buy another man's horse. <laughs> Unless no, specific, no, hang on. Specific unless scenarios. Unless it's like their stag night or like <laughs> their birthday or a Monday. That was in character by him. He's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't. This is not the situation where you buy apology sex. No. No. <laughs> no. I cannot think of a scenario that exists in which that is okay. <laughs> just kind of shrugs like. I see people going there all the time. I don't know. It seems like a thing. Oh, it's definitely like a thing. Like Hugon's thing. <laughs> and I'm sure Hugon's visited at one point. Made good use it... of his action search. <laughs> at least once. <laughs> but the point is, it's not the sort of thing you do to apologize to somebody. <laughs> Wait, to hang about... on a minute. Hang on Wait. a minute. <laughs> Unless you're, like, dating or... or it's not the sort of thing you do to someone you barely... No, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> it's Hang on. It's not the way you... Like, it's not the done... Th- just, well... It's not It's not what I'm going to do for you. <laughs> Is it not? How's that? Not, no, it I does don't... not apply to this situation. No. no. This specific situation it is not the way to do it. And I'll buy him, like, a dagger or something. I don't know. Not to say, we could go make some cool armor shit. I got some new, uh, what, uh, some, some mean lock stuff still left over. 
he'll reach over and like put a hand on hers and be like we need you rested for tomorrow if this archer is in this person's retinue and that you have been in the past slightly impulsive you are going to be incredibly tempted to just blow them all up. Don't lie, I can see it in your face. <laughs> <laughs> and I need you to not do that. That would be rude. <laughs> it would be rude. Is it okay if I see them trying to shoot Hugon? I can shoot back. There's a difference between if they start it Right. Okay. Okay. But like don't just like all right. So there's this this precedent in many other places where if a widower or a widow encounters the person that killed their husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, they tend to take the law into their own hands. Mm -hmm. We cannot be seen to be doing that. In order for Lenan to be cleared of anything that could... Because if we did the math that Lenan is guilty, someone else is going to do it too. And they don't have that arrow. Just trying to think, though. Like, the guard's kind of stupid here, though. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but there's, just, <laughs> but there's a certain lord that could do the math as well. That's true. I, that's why I'm at my shop while all so the talking's going follow, on. We've got to follow the law as closely as we can. This can't be something that we just brush headlong into, all right? This is why I'm not taking the lead on this one. I'm leaving it to more level heads. I look over and half expect the next to be going. <laughs> level? <laughs> Tilt. Tilt. He's actually doing this. He's like trying to get his head at the same level as as yours, as both of you. <laughs> 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 but then he's like, I'm lower I'm at her level, not his. He stands on the table. Is Hugo and... coming? He'll say to Thanuk. He's arguing or, with Rocky. Or is he busy <laughs> arguing with the, the clockwork thing? I think his, his hand was getting set on fire. No, the beer got warm. Well, I mean, <laughs> beer has to get warm. No, but when. But when Corbin called on the, on the on the com, yeah, mm -hmm. that he's buying apology food. We know that Thunuk <laughs> came out, <laughs> lurching out the door. I'm gonna tell you this right now. You, you he was promised apology food or just food in general. He outpaced anyone. <laughs> I think. I think like that would have been before he ended with the syllable of food. Yeah, mm -hmm. there was the I'm buying apology <laughs> Foo, and then it was <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd have refilled his beer and like carried it with him. Okay. And just like showed up like soon thereafter. Probably, you know, maybe even as you are saying those words. Rossi flying behind him. <laughs> and uh, so Corbin will look over the frug in the thing and just be like these two mm -hmm. on me. Sort of Give him the these yep. two on me kind of thing. And um just after saying that to Dren just go quiet. Now realizing that the other not sure what the other two heard. <laughs> so I don't know how this air calm shit works. And trying to get an idea of what they heard and what they didn't and and how he can use that to his advantage or disadvantage. I think uh, Hugon would make no mention of it. Like, it, I mean, un I understand that like we didn't hear all of it. We heard a good chunk of it, and we got some tasty morsels. But, at, at but the... you definitely heard the f the first part with the whole him. Yeah, his scars and dad and mom and stuff. No, absolutely. No, 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 no. You heard. Oh, which, you, when did it? They heard. It they heard. After mom died, that's when dad oh, okay. click. But like the whole bit about him being like, yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm giving into like 
old fears and shit like that. They heard that. Oh yeah. Okay. But they and didn't like hear the... to be fair, Hugen has essentially raised young men and women from mm. their young adulthoods into a military service and either watch them go on to succeed or watch them fail or wash out or things like that. So he's he's kind of used to people like kind of falling back on bad behavior or falling into old traps that they've had for themselves. Like, and I know that that's not a similar, like the exact same thing, but he, he recognizes that Corbin's going through some stuff and like, doesn't see the need to call him out or attack him about it. Cause I, I mean, suspect, okay. I was like, he, he absolutely did hurt here. Some of the things that he mentioned. So, I mean, I think the big deal with Yukon is that like, Corbin realizes that he's made an error and that's enough in the, at, at the moment. Uh, I, I suspect that uh, Corbin may want to do a contested dexterity save versus a giant trying to hug him. I like this. I think he will. Okay. Well, giant hug time. <laughs> basically like full full body thing because he's like anyone can you just you just have to do the, the, do that and he's apology accepted three points of damage <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't breathe, can't breathe. Can't i know we all have to breathe it's very hard <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm dying Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry. I forgot. Tiny. Not, not <laughs> Hugo tiny. thinks that's oh. fucking hilarious. He's like, ah! <laughs> you fucking at, let a giant hug you! I, just look, at, <laughs> I, look, I look at Dren and go, ta-da! <laughs> Hugo. I've and, already been squished, so... Yeah. <laughs> I gotta donate. And he'll, uh... And Corbin will be like, <sighs> So what do we do tomorrow? Trent's off in the goddamn time my shop because I can't sit shit apart. Um, well, I, Thunuk has the arrow. Um, we at the very least need to see if Tomasi is innocent. At least of being the shooter, right? Uh, I was well. If uh, what do we do if it comes down to being a member of the Lord's retinue or even the Lord himself? Mm. I think that you know what I would do. Right. I would eliminate the threat to as many people as possible. However, yeah, that, that may not be po That may not be possible. We may need to trap him somehow in in guilt. I don't know how we would do that though. I'm I'm not so much concerned about the archer mm -hmm. as I am about the people who aren't the archer. Mm. Because if it's the Lord, his retinue are going to protect him. Right. If it's a member of the retinue, the retinue are going to protect their own. Right. So, what's the the crack on that one? I mean, Dren, you take them out individually or what? If they show up with Tomasi, that would be very curious. No, but ev like if we eliminate... Eventually. Like, you eliminate all other suspects, whoever remains, no matter how out of the blue, mm. it's the only other answer. Right? Right. So we eliminate Tomasi, then it's someone in that house. Right. I'll, I can go talk to the, the servers... We can eliminate them. 
The question is, how long do we want to take? Because as we've shown, innocent people are dying around here. Right. It, uh, regrettable. Um. I think that we should probably try to get it done in the next three days. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, not, not in game. Uh, Clues okay. says in the messenger that we use for a team that she fully has heard tummy gurgle. And she, we, we all, most everyone probably thought that was Bob because he's talking about some good smelling food in his house. But oh. it, was, it was me. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and I pointed at myself and everyone laughed. I'm sorry. And I laughed with a mouthful of soda and I was trying to spray yeah. it all over my food. Ah. Where's, anyway. um, so, okay. <clears throat> we can eliminate Tomasi tomorrow with the arrow. If you are willing to twist or bend or break the law, we may be able to eliminate the servants in the same day. Why do we need to break the law? Well, if you can't get into the house to talk to them, like... If I don't know if you would want to be the one to do that, you had a good rapport with the one lady, I can bring and you them, haven't bring them to us. You, that might work. Um, I was thinking maybe break and enter Tomasi's home where the retinue is staying um, with the arrow. Like I said, as long as you filled out the forms, like right. Like I said, I'll take care of the ones for the the meeting tomorrow, mm -hmm. tonight, before we go to bed. But. If you're looking to do some B and E, you gotta well, fill it, out the appropriate forms. Right, of course, and I think that that's important. Um, we could also, you know. Speaking of after... which, hang on a minute. You're the intriguist. Huh. Don't you have the espionage forms? No. His point is not to leave a paper trail. Yeah, you're. You have all <laughs> no, the forms. you said that when you told the intriguist, his uh, his role was like, like. Like organizing supplies and stuff like that. Yeah, there would be like the quartermaster type stuff, but then there's the other side where he's like the um the scrounger. Right. Okay. Scrounging. So that part. So the part of him keeping track of supplies. Yeah, that would be. There would be forms that you guys would probably do joint together. Mm -hmm. But then there's the stuff where you probably don't want a paper trail. Okay. Couldn't we just if the arrow does not glow? While, you know, say he comes in, <clears throat> while he's bullshitting with Hugon, couldn't you just, like, under the table, slip it to Rozzy, and Rozzy flies, like, down a chimney and does some small espionage? He's tiny. He's tiny. But he's carrying he's a big also, arrow. It's on also, my shoulder. He's also noticeable. I have an idea. What's your idea? Holy okay. shit. Uh... Doesn't he have to come here? Yes, Tomasi does. And maybe um, the arrow doesn't have to be here because if Tomasi walks past the arrow, the arrow will follow him. Wait. You're muted. No, no, no. I, I didn't oh. actually say anything. Oh, okay. Mm. I so believe I'm saying... having what... Uh, sorry, to quote a famous movie, I believe I'm having what alcoholics would call a moment of clarity. <laughs> I'm having an apostrophe, boss. Yeah, apostrophe. You mean an epiphany. An apostrophe. Yeah, that's Let's what call? I said, an apostrophe. Like lightning. Like, a, like an epiphone? Like, like, like a guitar? That must hurt. Did the Duke, when we left, when we left the council chambers this morning, and the Duke tried to barge his way in, didn't he see he'd be back tomorrow? Did he? I, did. I honestly don't recall. I think I was did. spoiling. You were spoiling for a fight. Well, I thought there was going to be a fight. This was... coffee, which I, I so thoughtfully bought <laughs> for her. Yeah. Is the Duke going to show up? Uh, worth a shot. Wouldn't he have arrow? Could I... go to him. 
That's what I'm seeing. Ooh. Like we have it... someone here at the meeting who is not actually taking the meeting, so prob like I don't want to be the one dealing well, I probably do want to be the one dealing No. Whose name was on the form with Tomasi? So you need to be the one to be dealing with Tomasi. Right. Who can move quickest to the council room from here that's not Razi? I have very long legs. The council? No, because if the duke is oh, there... Oh, to transport it? Okay. Because you're going to have the one person in the one place with the arrow, and unless we can teleport shite with... Which we can't, other than our weapons and armor, which I'm still scared to try in case my hands get ripped off. <laughs> it works pretty good. <laughs> yes, but your weapons aren't your hands and feet. <laughs> we can have someone run from here to the keep and test the duke and his retinue as well. Well, which one of us is the fastest? Definitely not me. Definitely not me. Until I get another level. Because <laughs> <laughs> then I start getting my monk unarmed, unarmed movement. Yeah, my speed's only 25 feet. For, yeah, okay. so I'm not I very think fast. It'll be, uh, I, I, sus I, I suspect that everyone uh, has observed Thunic racing around at, at the board of free food. So they're all probably eyeing him right now. He's completely oblivious. <laughs> just, nee. And I just see this vision of this everyone going, so who's the fastest? And everyone's going, not me, not me. And everyone turns to Thunuk, and Thunuk's like, what? what? Cinnamon roll. And I think that would be a perfect place to end our game for this. Uh, God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, though. So, well, you've done it again. You've wasted another perfectly good three hours watching our little group play D&D. &D. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Groom Shooms, Tasty Treats, Clues Gaming Supplies, St. <laughs> Brian's Barbecue, and our illithid motivational speaker, Erasmus B. Dragon. <laughs> you can catch new episodes of TMX every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern here on Twitch, or whenever you want at the Eat, Drink, Roll Twitch channel on the VOD or on YouTube. You can also subscribe to the podcast through your favorite syndication service. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Eat, Drink, Roll. Team X is a production of Eat, Drink, Roll and film before a live internet audience. We'll be back next week at 4 p.m. with a brand new episode, but stay tuned for Table Talk. Deep within the core other forests can be heard and hear a spirit song sealed from long before. Now awaken to the power, the essence of our soul.